partisans to conflicts are often understandably wary of being brought together. Many questions arise. What's the real agenda? Am I going to be tricked in some way? Am I going to be set up to be attacked? Am I going to be seduced into compromise or agreeing with my enemy? These questions and others can be answered by effective invitations. Invitations to dialogue can take many forms, person to person, flyer, letter. But good invitations share several qualities. They outline the purposes of the dialogue. They let people know the logistics, where, when, food or no food. And importantly, they outline the process and the expectations. Will people be making commitments to time, to agreements, etc.? Okay, this information comes together to ease fears and make it easier for people to participate in the dialogue. A clear, informative invitation lays out the purposes of the proposed meeting and what participants can be expected to commit to once they come together. And it does so in a way that uses language that's free of bias so that people will have the expectation of a fair process and even facilitation.